Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. For every one foot of head pressure or drop that goes into this pump, you can lift seven feet out. It's pretty remarkable. I have one of these down in the creek and it is pumping at about seven feet of head pressure, which gives us a lot of water up here at my playhouse. A question that comes up quite often is it possible to turn off the delivery pipe at the top or use a float valve that will shut off the water automatically? Yes, it sure is. Today, I'm gonna to be using a product from a fellow YouTuber, Farmer Brad. He makes a chicken watering bucket that has a float valve inside. I asked if he would send one of these and uh, we're gonna take a look at this and then hook it up to the ram pump directly and see how the ram pump fills the bucket, triggers that float valve, and stops the water while keeping the pump working down in the creek. So let's go ahead and take a look at Farmer Brad's bucket. This is a two gallon bucket version. It has a cap here on the top that can be removed for using a heater or if it needs to have an air port. Um, just a regular lid there. He does have a little instruction booklet to tell you how to take care of the watering bucket and also some winter tips. Uh, like I said, on the inside, it has a float valve that just rises up and shuts off the water. The input here is a little tiny tube. That's probably, that's even smaller than a quarter, I think. But anyway, uh, hooks up to a regular garden hose, which is what we'll be using here. And on the bottom, it's got these chicken watering nipples. The chicken will just peck that and it will open up a small port on the inside. And that is pretty much it. Has four of those total. A nice handle that you can hang up so it kind of brings this up to chicken level. Uh, it's a pretty ingenious little design and it should work quite well. So. Let's go ahead and hook this up to the ram pump and begin our test. For the super short answer of can the ram pump delivery pipe be turned off at the top? Yes, that's what's happening right now. So if I were to flip this valve, it would turn on. Now, one thing that is really important to remember, there's a lot of pressure at the ram pump and whenever it's turned off up here, that pressure builds up to the max that the head pressure will allow. So if I had to go to open this delivery pipe really quick, it's probably gonna shut off the pump. I have the bucket here and this little tiny hose. I'm going to just hook this up to the ram pump directly. Like that. Let's see, put that up there. Okay, now let's go ahead and open this up and we will watch it start to fill the bucket. So I'm just gonna flip this switch a little. That should do it. Okay, it's filling in a little hole that is right up under the float valve. And it's going really slow, which is one thing I like because with all the pressure behind the ram pump, if it were to open too quick, we may have issues with back pressure loss. So far, this is working out really well. Let's see what happens if we open this all the way. No real change. So. I think it has reached its maximum fill rate here with that hose size that's going in there. Let's take a closer look at those chicken uh, watering nipples there. So you can see that it has a little rubber gasket that is on the back side. So if I were to push that, you see how it opens up there? So to come on the front side and see how much water comes out, it's just drips at a time, but should be enough there. I can see the float valve is beginning to raise up here. If I bring it all the way up here, you can see it does stop. So we'll watch that happen here in just a moment. Well, I am pretty pleased with this bucket so far. I'm gonna take this down to my neighbor who has chickens and uh, let this be used by them. Now it is intended to be used with a garden hose on house pressure, which is 60 PSI. And that is about what we're getting from the ram pump at this point. So works out pretty good. 
water is slowing way down. Let's see if it stops altogether here. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there so we can actually watch it be completely off. There we go. Totally shut off now. How cool is that? So I wonder at what point we would see that come back open if we open up some of these. Obviously that's gonna take quite a while to drain that bucket enough to allow that to open back up. Example of the ram pump hitting hard. As you can see, the ram pump is still working in the creek with the bucket turning off the delivery pipe up here at the top. Now one thing to consider, the ram pump is going to reach its maximum pressure based on its input head pressure with the delivery pipe closed. When this happens, the ram pump will reach a state that I like to call hitting hard, which means the whole system just kind of jars every time the, uh, the waste valve closes. So keep that in mind, it may have extra wear and tear on your ram pump if your uh, system up here is turned off. Uh, so one thing to consider, you might have uh, a bucket like this and then have another valve you could just open and let it uh, run further uphill and just waste out. So if you're considering uh, that. Now with this setup, I have seven feet of head pressure, which is able to pump much further up my hill than where I am right now. So what I would do is reduce the head pressure several feet so that the pressure up here is not as great and the ram pump would not be hitting as hard whenever the delivery pipe is turned off. Back to normal operation. An example of how the pressure can build, look at these racket balls I have in here. They have been crushed down, whereas before they weren't that way. Typically though, with the right amount of head pressure, no damage is done to the pump. The simple answer to, can you turn off the delivery pipe at the top is yes. Um, no real consequences there. It uh, works well with a float valve, as you can see here. And uh, with Farmer Brad's chicken watering bucket, I think that would be a really good way to use your ram pump. Now in the future, I plan on doing a more dramatic uh, valve like this by using one of those uh, horse trough watering systems. Same principle, but I just want to prove the concept that it does work. And I think maybe with horses, they would drink uh, faster than chickens. So we may be able to scoop out a bucket and see the valve turn on again. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the hydraulic ram pump, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com and on Amazon. Links in the description down below. Also, if you want to watch more content on the hydraulic ram pump, click this video here and be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to be updated for the many videos I have here on the channel, be sure to ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.